Evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. Food security clinics come up with 20 projects in plant, animal and fish sector and 107 investment opportunities at various governorates of the Sultanate of Oman. And the Sultanate of Oman expresses its sincere condolences to the Islamic Republic of Iran in the attack which targeted the Shah Grag shrine in the city of Shiraz. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Milos Zeman of the Czech Republic on the occasion of his country's National Day. Clinics to solve challenges of food security came out with 12 projects in the vegetable sector, six in the animal sector, and two projects in the fish sector. The investment opportunities amounted to 107 distributed all over the governorates of the Sultanate of Oman. The conclusion of the sessions was, was held under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Khamis bin Saif al-Jabri, head of the Oman Vision 2040 Implementation Follow-up Unit. The Municipal Council in the Governorate of Masqat during its meeting reviewed a number of projects implemented by Masqat Municipality in the various wilayas of the Governorate, such as public and internal roads, drain water drainage projects, and the establishment of other service facilities. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Sayyid Saud bin Hilal al Saidi, Governor of Masqat. Challenges and solutions related to the health and education sectors in the Governorate of Al Bremi topped the discussions of the Municipal Council in the Governorate. The meeting during its eighth meeting this year reviewed a number of topics related to some service aspects. The Ministry of Social Development reviewed its 10th five year plan for the Amman 2040 vision within the meeting that brought together Her Excellency Dr. Leila bint Ahmed al-Najjar, Minister of Social Development, with His Excellency Sayyid Dr. Hamad bin Ahmed al Saidi, Governor of al Bremi, in His Excellency's office. The meeting included a visual presentation that touched on the strategic programs related to the work of the Ministry, which intersects with the strategic objectives of the priority of welfare and social protection the priority of governance of the state's administrative apparatus, resources and projects, the priority of education, learning, scientific research and national capacities, in addition to a review of the charitable platform. The meeting also reviewed the existing buildings and projects in the Boremi Governorate construction projects and maintenance work during the coming period, investment projects and investable lands and the proposed projects. The Ministry of Interior announced the extension of the period for receiving applications for registration in the Electoral Register and the period for receiving applications for transferring registration from one wilaya to another for the election for the elections of members of municipal councils for the third period until Thursday the 10th of next November. The Ministry called on citizens who were not previously registered in the Electoral Register to quickly submit their applications through the elections website while making sure that their personal cards are equipped with the electronic authentication system BKI. The Ministry indicated to voters wishing to transfer their registration to submit their applications through the elections website according to the permanent or current address recorded in the ID card. The Sultanate of Oman expressed its sincere condolences and sympathy to the families of the victims, the government and people of the Islamic Republic of Iran in the attack which targeted the Shah Grag shrine in the city of Shiraz in southern Iran yesterday evening, wishing a speedy recovery for the injured. In a statement issued by the Foreign Ministry, the Sultanate of Oman affirmed its permanent stance denouncing violence 
and all forms of terrorism. Still to come in our news bulletin. Nizwa Municipality crowns the winners of the Nizwa Market Contest. A memorandum of cooperation MOC was signed between Muscat Stock Exchange and SME's Development Authority to support and facilitate SMEs, including the stock exchange market. More details in the following report. Today at Muscat Stock Exchange headquarters, a memorandum of cooperation was signed with SME's Development Authority in facilitating the registration of SMEs in the stock markets of third and secondary degrees. Um, the MOC is the start uh, of uh, negotiating and uh, exchanging uh, information with the authority, um, uh, the concerned authority of uh, SMEs. Um, so this is the startup, so we can gather the information, we can prepare for uh, having a proper exchange for SME markets um, or SME uh, entities. Uh, our main uh, initiative to have uh, an SME exchange is um, uh, to prepare the financing models that will help those SMEs to grow um, with the ultimate uh, purpose of keeping those SMEs in the radar of investors. The MOC signed aims to raise awareness amongst the small and medium enterprises on the importance and benefits of registering their companies in the stock market. Uh, we are planning to uh, have some uh, programs, uh, awareness program for SMEs uh, to, enco to encourage them to start uh, apply in uh, the stock market uh, and uh, to show to them how they can get benefit from assigning in uh, the uh, stock market. It also aims to train the SME owners and define the framework needed for the registration from their side. This MOC comes as a cooperation of different governmental bodies to enhance the environment of business in the Sultanate of Oman and increase its participation in the GDP. All to ensure that laws and regulations are updated and flexible for the SMEs and their owners. The Royal Oman Police announces today the opening of applications for free visas for World Cup fans, holders of the Haya card, who would like to enter the Sultanate of Oman. This came within the efforts to celebrate the hosting of the World Cup in the region, support the state of Qatar's endeavors to make it a success and promote Masqat as a, as a major city capable of receiving World Cup fans and providing them with a convenient and exceptional experience. The visa is valid for 60 days and can be extended twice through the e-visa website. It can also be changed to another category while in the Sultanate of Oman as per the applicable rules. Moreover, Haya card ca holders can be accompanied by first degree relatives to stay in the Sultanate of Oman. After acquiring the Haya card, the visa can be obtained by submitting an application via e-visa website evisa.rop.gov.om attached with flight ticket, photograph, passport copy and confirmation of hotel reservation in the Sultanate of Oman. The Consumer Protection Authority concluded field inspection campaigns in various markets and commercial centers in the Governorate of Muscat. This came coinciding with the active commercial movement witnessed in the markets and the expansion of service and commercial areas in the Governorate. To promote innovation among businessmen and enhance their trade, Nizwa Municipality held a ceremony to crown the winners of the Nizwa Market Contest. More details in the following report. Nizwa Souk is one of the prominent traditional markets in the Sultanate of Oman since ancient times. The booths in this market flourish with various types of products and commodities. A generation after another, 
The business is run by Omani merchants of the Wilaya of Nizwa. To promote innovation among businessmen and enhance their trade, Nizwa municipality held a contest for all vendors in the market. The competition actually has uh, achieved the followings. The place has improved. The people has got uh, very much dedicated to what they do and they have actually learned how to present their products and services in a better way, marketing it, and they have developed it. And the good things of it, they, there is a, an, an, what do you call it, uh, uh, an item that's pertaining to the uh, development and innovation where we have actually witnessed some uh, business people, they have tried and they have played a vital role in developing their places and the, uh, what do you call the kayaks they are working at, they have developed it in a very attractive way and make it very, uh, what do you call it, a sample to the others. The winners of the competition conveyed their pride and excitement to see their hard work paid off. They as well expressed their commitment to continue the development of trade in the market. We are uh, very happy to receive th this award. Uh, this uh, will push us forward and improve our business and the trade in the Nizwasuk. Besides ensuring the cleanliness and quality of products on sale in the market, the competition motivated local potential entrepreneurs to rent kiosks in the souk, thus contributing to diversify the commercial activities within the marketplace. This competition fosters further community collaboration to maintain Nizwa Market as a renowned destination and an authentic traditional trade center. صالح ابو خلفان الرحبي ولاية اوف نزوى الداخلية Governor. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main headlines once again. Food security clinics come up with 20 projects in plant, animal and fish sector and 107 investment opportunities at various governorates of the Sultanate of Oman. And the Sultanate of Oman expresses its sincere condolences to the Islamic Republic of Iran in the attack which targeted the Shah Gragh Shrine in the city of Shiraz. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night and have a nice weekend.